If you watched my previous video about installing uh, themes, uh, you'll remember that I showed you how to install a theme, uh, this glossy blue theme, using either cPanel or FTP. So here we're going to look at how to install plugins, and I'll show you both methods, how to install a plugin using FTP or cPanel. But uh, let's first look at a third method if you're using the latest version of WordPress uh, 2.7, uh, where you can actually install your plugins uh, by using just the uh, admin interface. So I'm logged into my admin area of 2.7. I'm going to click on plugins. And then under the plugins menu, you'll see an add new. Click add new. And then at the top, you'll have a place where you can actually search for plugins. You can look at, find them through uh, popular tags or through some of these uh, links up here, featured, popular, newest, and so forth. So let's just go to the popular plugins, for example. And I'll scroll down, look at some of these, and uh, let's say that uh, maybe on this uh, machine I want to install this Simple Tags plugin. So I see it, I come over and I click Install. And the first thing you're going to want to look for is to make sure that the plugin is actually compatible with the version of WordPress that you're using. If it's not, it will tell you here that it hasn't been tested for 2.7 or for your version. This one seems to be fine, so I click Install now. And it'll come back and go through the actual install process, and it tells me that it's successfully installed. And then here I can click on Activate to activate the plugin. So there it is, my Simple Tags plugin has been installed and activated. It's as simple as that. So that's a really neat feature in 2.7 uh, that um, you should look at if you haven't already. You can just go there and browse literally thousands of plugins to install on your machine. But let's say you're using an earlier version of two points uh, of WordPress, or maybe this isn't working for you for some reason. Some people have reported problems uh, when they use this. They get prompted to log in and they don't know what to enter. Uh, I'm not sure the cause of those problems. I haven't really looked into it. I haven't had that problem myself. But if you have an earlier version, or if you're having a problem doing it automatically here, you can still do your plugins manually. So let's look here. Let me get the theme stuff out of the way. We're done with that. And let's look at a plug, plug in here, uh, Get Recent Comments. And I just downloaded this from the plugins uh, directory on WordPress.org. So find your plugin, download it. It'll be a zip file. And uh, if we wanted to upload this Get Recent Comments plugin, uh, it's not here on my site. Then we do it very much the same way that I showed you how to do a theme. If you're using FTP, you can extract that zip file on your computer. Now, just like when we extracted themes on the computer, notice on your Windows machine, it's going to want to extract the zip file in the location where it exists, and it's on my desktop, and in a folder or a directory called Get Recent Comments. So since there's not a directory already there called that, it's going to create that directory and extract it into it. And that's going to result in a nested directory. So watch this. If I just go Next, Cancel, here's my Get Recent Comments directory. If I open that directory, there's another Get Recent Comments directory. And if I open that, there are the actual files for the plugin. So let me show you what happens here if we just extract on the computer and then we go to our blog to con WP Content and to Plugins directory, and we take that nested directory that we see here, and we upload it to our Plugins directory. Okay, it's uploaded. I go back to my blog, I refresh, looking in my Plugins, and notice there is no Get Recent Comments here. It hasn't recognized that I have that Get Recent Comments plugin there because I have it in the nested directory. I can look on my site, look in Plugins, there is the Get Recent Comment directory, but there's another one under it. It's nested. That directory contains all the files. So that's what I need to have. I don't need to have this nested directory. So to fix that, I'm just going to delete Get Recent Comments. Delete this zip I'd uploaded earlier. Uh, now I'm going to come back out here on my computer, open Get Recent Comments, and look inside that. There are my files, so that's the directory I want to FTP. So I'll FTP it to my site, to where I no longer have the nested directory. 
Now, if I come back to my blog, refresh, now I see the Get Recent Comments here in my list. So then I can activate it uh, and use it as long as it's compatible with the version that I have. Okay, so just don't have those nested directories and you should be fine. Now the other way to get the uh, plugins up is just like I showed you with the uh, themes. If you have cPanel, uh, let me delete get recent comments, deactivate it here, and we'll delete it from the site. Okay, it's gone. So now let's go to our cPanel. Let's go to our cPanel. We'll go to File Manager. And in File Manager, we'll go to Public HTML, to our blog, to WB Content, and into the Plugins directory. There are all the plugins. And I'm going to upload the zip now. Browse. Here is my Get Recents Comment zip. And upload. It's done. I can close File Manager or File Upload and go back to File Manager and there's the zip. So I'll put a check beside it and I extract. And it's going to extract in plugins. That's where I want it. Once it extracts, I see Get Recent Comments. I can delete my zip now. And if I look over here now in Get Recent Comments, notice there's no nested folder. So the exact same thing that I showed you uploading themes. If you upload these plugins through um, cPanel File Manager and extract them, then chances are you're not going to have problems with nested folders. You're not going to have problems with permissions and so forth. Uh, on my computer, my directory permissions are all set at 755 and my uh, file permissions at 644. Yours may be different depending on s some types of uh, programs that you have running on the server. Uh, but that's what I have here. Uh, but the fact is, when I extract that zip file, it set the permissions of the directory uh, correctly, and it didn't nest it. So now I can go to my uh, plugins directory in WordPress. Uh, I'm just going to hit F5 and refresh. And the Get Recent Comments shows back up in our admin area. So then I could activate it here and go through and configure it and use it. Uploading themes or plugins is very similar. You just download the file, either extract it on your computer and FTP it, ensuring that you're not FTPing nested folders up and that you do have the proper directory permissions and so forth once the file gets there. Or if you have cPanel, then just uh, going to File Manager and uploading that zip file and extracting it in either the themes directory or the plugins directory. Uh, and if you have uh, 2.7, then just uh, install plugins through the admin interface in 2.7. It, uh, it's pretty easy to do. Couldn't, couldn't get much easier.